Before we begin, I'd like to express to all of you that all episodes of Sport the Liberal are composed under the fair use policies of the Copyright Act of 1976. And I upload these Sport the Liberal videos under a Creative Commons license. You're welcome. Hey, shut the fuck up and get with the intro already. Holy fuck, man. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Spot the Liberal. It's yours truly. Portraying different various voices as I discuss today's top news. For June the 13th, 2017, the time is 5.11 p.m. Let's look at all this shit. Hey, guys, I want you to check this out. A former FBI special agent defends the scumbag known as James Comey, as well as others who know Comey well, according to Newsweek and Graham Lanktree. Now, what the hell kind of name is Graham Lanktree, you ask? It must be a sexual offender or something. Hell, I don't know. No, I don't think he's a sexual offender. He works for Newsweek, so he's obviously a so-called journalist. Yeah, you have a good point there. Absolutely you do. I mean, was there any question to start with? Of course not. Apparently, the former special agent's name is Ali Sufan. Allahu Akbar! No, Manson, he's not a terrorist. Well, he sure sounds like one. So apparently... Sufan supports Comey, who, by the way, acquitted Hillary Clinton of crimes against humanity twice. Now, why the hell did he do that? Probably because he was an SJW. I think he was a dumbass liberal who couldn't know jack shit from anything else. If my parents were still alive, they'd agree. If my wife was still alive, though, she'd probably agree, too, despite her being you-know-what. Wait a second. Our mother was qu- No, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. It's a bad word. Okay, let's just move on to the next story and be done with it. What do you mean by that? How many times do I have to tell you not to argue with me? Damn, damn, that's, that's too loud. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll let you talk. I'll shut up. So, some time ago, there was a guy who is the principal of Liberty High School. His name is Patrick Walsh, who apparently banned him from his own graduation because he was wearing his military uniform because he was in the military and whatnot. Sounds like it's not too hard to spot the liberal here. Oh, you mean the guy that uh, wore his military uniform during his graduation instead of a cap and gown? No, I mean the principal of Liberty High School, Patrick Walsh. Now that's a dumbass liberal. Fortunately, he did a very conservative thing. Walsh applied to Fletcher taking full responsibility for the mishap and said that the student originally would have to wear a cap and gown over his uniform if he wanted to participate, but apparently that never went anywhere. So Walsh admitted that he made a mistake last Friday and that he doesn't mince words and that he deeply regretted what happened as a result of his so-called scarring quote of some sort. I mean, I don't even know if you could call it scarring, but it was definitely a false quote nonetheless. And what's funny about that is that at this man's private graduation ceremony, everyone in the Marine Corps League of Brentwood showed their support of the man. 
And that was a good thing, believe it or not. Hell, it was the best thing they could have done. Yeah, there's no question about that. Agreed. I second that. And next up, we got a story about Stephen King claiming that President Trump, current and 45th president of the United States, blocked him on Twitter. And apparently, J.K. Rowling's stepping into the fray as well. I mean, what the heck is this shit? All right, so for whatever reason, Stephen King has admired J.K. Rowling for a long time. Holy crap. I mean, why don't they just get married? Yeah, I guess that would make perfect sense now, wouldn't it? So, Cindy, what do you think of Stephen King proclaiming that Trump blocked him on Twitter? By the way, the, uh, the tweet has since been removed. I think Stephen King needs to stick with fictitious novels. That's interesting. I don't think he knows everything about everything. Is there anybody creepier than Stephen Hawking? Probably not. So, J.K. Rowling and Stephen King have admired each other for some time. Why don't they just get married? I guess in all likelihood, Rowling and King have been vocally opposed to Trump, but of guy? course they're they're billionaires, so they can do whatever the heck they want because they're part of the 0.1% now. Of course, it wouldn't make any difference anyway, now would it? No, nah, not really, but I could be wrong. Hell, my parents would probably say that I'm wrong. Who, Raymond and Samantha? Yeah, those two. I mean, they're both liberals anyway, so they can do whatever they damn well please, because they might as well be part of the Illuminati. Now let's switch gears now to another story, a religious story about Catholicism and some stuff. What do you mean by that? Apparently, with the church shifting, a cardinal is welcoming homosexuals, and they embraced some kind of a miracle, according to Sharon Otterman of the New York Times. Of course, I'm the son of the Antichrist, so I support what she says. Well, I don't. I don't support anything the New York Times says because they're full of crap. Same here. I think that's something my entire family can agree on. No disrespect to you or your family, of course, since you're the son of the Antichrist, right? Uh, ah, shit. I, I gotta get out of here. Wait, where are you going? We forgot to ask you about your other associations with Monsanto and Alphabet Inc. and other stuff. Uh, Daniel? Danielle? Where did they go? They must have left. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And as an added bonus, for whatever reason, Pope Francis commented about gay priests seeking the Lord and asked very simply, Who am I to judge? Oh, motherfucker, that was a terrible impersonation of Pope Francis. Anyway, the touch teaches in its catechism that homosexual asks are intrinsically disordered and that men who present deep-seated homosexual tendencies to support the so-called gay torture and culture are not to become priests. On this regard, what I said about gay torture, that doesn't mean anything. Hey, I'm the Antichrist and I support gay culture. Yes, yeah, CCC, you got that right. Wait a minute. I thought the Antichrist was supposed to come from Indonesia. Well, you thought wrong, Holmes. You thought wrong. You see, I am ordering a new one world agenda there. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Hey, get the hell out of here, Carlos. Yeah, I'll get out of here, all right. I'm going to disappear in a flash. <laughs> Ah, hell, I guess we'll never hear the end of it. But all in all, what's generally being expressed in this opinion 
that you hear in this video is that the Catholic Church has apparently sold out to the gay community. They have essentially become a tool of the Illuminati. Well, I didn't know that. Yes, you do. In fact, you already knew that. How the hell do you know? Disregard what I said. And that concludes this episode of Spot the Liberal. So I'll check up with you guys sometime soon in another episode. And check out all this shit that you see in the end screens you see over there. And other than that, you have a nice ass day.